This is the Kunming Singapore Railway, or more commonly known as the Pan Asian Railway Network. This massive construction project is expected to connect the People's Republic of China all the way to Singapore and the rest of mainland Southeast Asian countries. This proposed railway network is composed of three major routes. The upper route will start from Kunming, China, all the way to Bangkok, Thailand. Subsequently, the second route, which is the eastern route, will connect Vietnam and Cambodia. Moreover, the third route will be the central route, which will connect Laos, and the western route will be via Myanmar. And the southern route will not be constructed as it has already been built and will just be updated and rehabilitated. This route connects Bangkok and Singapore. While this mega infrastructure plan may sound like a dream to some, it is actually already on the way. Some components are even nearing their completion. They even expected the central route, which will connect China and Laos, to be operational by the end of 2021. This service type is also expected to be a heavy rail line to cater to heavy volumes of traffic. Its length is expected to be over 6,600 kilometers long, which is quite an exciting project. This will make the movement of goods and people feel like a unique experience. But there are also some lines that will be high speed, which will be a more exciting feat. Some high-speed trains have already been taking notice. These are the likes of Thailand's Northeastern HSR, which is expected to come around 2023. The main rolling train stock will vary from route to route, but the expected speed of each is around 160 km per hour to over 350 km per hour. This would imply that getting from one end to another will be in a matter of hours compared to the complexity and long driving times. This type of project will directly benefit all the companies connected to the railway along with surrounding countries. The increase in regional economic benefits will also benefit China and its ties to Southeast Asia. Such a magnificent project will in no doubt create miracles. People who have wanted an easy journey of going around Southeast Asia will do so. The transport of goods and services from one end to the other will open up opportunities for others that couldn't do so. There might even be a better high-speed railway system in the future, which is the bullet trains used in several countries. We can expect this to finish by the end of the decade, or at the very least, the start of the next decade. There are several implications for this mega-project. If it was easy, then it isn't and shouldn't be called a mega-project. There have been several planned cancellations already in the past, and some have their deadlines moved. While you may have thought that this is a fairly new grand endeavor, it is actually not. This was first proposed way down in history back in the 18th century, when the European powers wanted to connect their country to the Southeast Asian ones, but it was only when in 1904 when the first project was actually built, and that was the first part to connect Southeast Asia to China. But it was a quick route to just connecting China to Vietnam. Several more constructions followed, but it was short-lived as during that time the World War broke out and projects after projects were abandoned. Come the 21st century, in the year 2000, the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or commonly known as ASEAN, had some talks about actually connecting the region. It was first proposed to be over 5,500 kilometers long, which is 1,100 kilometers shorter than what it currently is being constructed as. As time passes, they have found better ways and better routes. The initial investment of this mega infrastructure project is estimated to be way over $15 billion. However, this may change as such big projects tend to do so and actually far passes the estimation by a lot. This Pan-Asia Railway is not to be confused with the Trans-Asia Railway. These two are very different as Kunming Singapore is a network of railways spanning across the Southeast Asia region along with China, while the Trans-Asia Railway is a project that spans the entire Asian continent all the way to Europe, and this will be a big one. There are several talks about this project, but as far as we are concerned, this may not be in the near future. Several minor components have been built already, but the entire project is too big to fathom when it will actually finish. We will cover more of this in a different video, as this is quite an exciting one. In conclusion, while there has been quite saddening news lately, there is always a future for us. Optimistic projects like this set the way for a better and brighter future, and it is only up to us to actually see if it is good or not. Anyway, what do you think about the Kunming Singapore Railway? Was it such a magnificent project, or will it fail down as implications are quite a high one? Share with us your comments below. Don't forget to leave us a like and follow us for more amazing videos. Thanks for watching.